Welcome to Defiance College Pilgrim Library's video tour. See how many times you can spot our librarian action figure in these pictures. Here's the Pilgrim Library's main entrance. The building is different in that it's three-sided like a triangle instead of the typical rectangular building. To your left as you enter, you'll see the registrar's office. This office is where you go to to get transcripts, register for classes, change your major, and once you are a senior, apply for graduation. Straight ahead is the stairwell and a study area beyond it. We tried to provide students with lots of different seating options for both individual and group study. Slightly to your right is the main circulation desk. This is your go-to place for information or help while in the library and where you'll check out books and other materials. Some of the materials kept at the desk are books and AV items that professors put on closed or course reserves, like textbooks you may be assigned to read for class. Please bring your Defiance College ID card, like this one, when you need to check materials out or to sign in for structured study, also known as study, study tables. On the far right from the entrance is the library's computer lab, which is sometimes used for library instruction classes but otherwise is open to students during regular library hours. Please wear headphones or earbuds if you use websites in the lab that require sound. The main printer copier for the lab is located next to the circulation desk. If this one is ever out of order, there is a second copier you can print to on the lower level, which we'll see later in the tour. Here are some other places you can go for help. This is Lisa Crummett Hancock, room 216. She is the Assistant Dean of Student Success, which includes Registrar, Director of Library Services, and Director of Academic Support Services. Next to hers is Madeline Clausen, Library Access and Outreach Services Manager, Room 217. Talk to Maddie if you have a problem with an overdue book or a reserve item or want a job in the library. Just past the Registrar's area, coming in from the front door on your left, are the main restrooms and the building's only drinking fountain. Just beyond the restrooms is the computer services office room 206. Please see the computer personnel if you have problems with Wi-Fi or your campus network password. Beyond the computer services office is a set of movable shelves that hold storage items plus print magazines and newspapers. Here's an example of some different seating. Between the movable shelves and the long windows are some study carrels for group or individual study which have built-in whiteboards. Beyond the carrels and movable shelves is the juvenile literature collection, which has children's books that education majors might use in their studies. We also have a crafting area in the juvenile section with updated craft projects for students to try throughout the semester. Crafting can be a great stress reliever. Back near the stairwell is an elevator if stairs are difficult for you. Beside the elevator is a niche with historical photos of U.S. President Dwight Eisenhower's visits to the D.C. campus in 1953 and again in 1963, along with artifacts associated with him. If you use our catalog to look for a book in our collection, Books with call numbers that start with A through part of F are located on this upper floor. Some books with call numbers F and G through Z are on the lower floor. Ask at the desk if you need help locating your book. Beyond the book stacks on the south end of the upper floor is our Learning Commons area, which is open to all students, but especially students during their study table hours. Our diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility book collection is also in this area. Feel free to browse and check them out. Also on this end of the upper floor is the Institute for Career Readiness and Lifelong Learning, rooms 211 to 214. Their staff can help you with your resume, job searches, get internships, and provide workshops to prepare you for your post-graduation career. Now we'll head down the stairs. At the foot of the stairwell is our eSports arena. eSports team members access it with their ID cards. 
To the right of the bottom of the stairs is the media classroom, room 110, which is sometimes used for classes, workshops, and club or organization meetings. To the left of the bottom of the stairwell is the McMaster School for Advancing Humanity offices. This area is in charge of service leaders and the McMaster School learning communities, trips overseas, and its domestic programs. It also houses the Institute for Pre-Health and Wellness Studies. Much of the lower floor is bookshelves. At the south end of the lower floor, past the shelves, is the Academic Support Center, headed by Jordan Gehring in room 123. This is where SI supplemental instruction sessions are held by the SI leaders for some of our more difficult courses. In addition, a small STEM computer lab is located in the far corner. In this area is the studio used by tutors and writing consultants. This is where you would come for tutoring help in math, science, and other subjects. You can sign up for a tutor or writing consultant via the library's website. Towards the opposite end of the lower floor is Barb Sedlock's office, room 112. She is lead librarian and coordinator of metadata and archives. She catalogs new books, does non-Ohio link interlibrary loan, offers library instruction classes, and coordinates DC's archives. If you need help or directions while on the lower floor, please feel free to pop in and ask her. Room 115 is Abby Baker's office. She is our library assistant who supervises student workers in the evenings and on Sundays and provides research help. There is a second copier printer outside Barb and Abby's offices that users of the upstairs computer lab can print to if the printer upstairs happens to be out of order. Room 118 is one of two study rooms that are set up as collaboration rooms with technology that lets up to four devices talk to each other on the big screen. It is available first come, first served, or can be reserved via the space reservation section of the library's website. Also in this area is an additional restroom. These are some of the 90 oil paintings of historical Ohio courthouses that were created by a former DC languages professor, Herman Veeb, which are displayed throughout the library. If you are from Ohio, can you find your county's courthouse painting? They are displayed alphabetically, starting upstairs in the computer lab. The Ohio Supreme Court created a video about these paintings and makes it available on their website. More information and resources are available in the library's website, library.defiance.edu, including tutorials on how to do research using the library's databases. Thanks for viewing our video tour of the Pilgrim Library. How many times did you spot our librarian action figure?